inserting empowering beliefs and breaking down the limiting beliefs because nothing is more destructive to success than limiting beliefs. It's like having a governor on a Ferrari. Just imagine you have the sleekest Ferrari with 500 horsepower, 12 valves, four valves, 12 uh, cylinders, four valves per cylinder. But if the governor's on the engine stopping the flow of gas, the car ain't going over 55. You can't exceed the capability of the governor and you can't exceed the capability of your limiting belief. It stops you from charging forward when you should and causes you to move backwards when you shouldn't. Empowering beliefs lead to a lifetime of joy and happiness and disempowering beliefs lead to a life of quiet desperation. It's the way it is. You cannot rise above the level of your limiting beliefs. Crack those limiting beliefs. And the way you do it is very simple because a belief is nothing but an idea that you're really certain about. Just imagine the belief is a tabletop. That's the idea. And the legs beneath the table are the references that think, make you think you're right. Because we take beliefs as the facts of life. So my belief was what? That my past will always haunt me and my reference to any negative article or anything that happened that said, ah, you see, I'm right, my past will always haunt me. That's how a belief is built. But what happens is this, the truth is, and one of the fundamental tenets of, of neurolinguistic programming is we are not our past experiences. We are the capabilities and the resources that we've gleaned from them. Shit happens to people. You make huge mistakes. But you're not those mistakes, you're not your bankruptcy, you're not your failure. What you are is the lessons that you've learned from that that you can use now. You're the resources that you've gleaned from that that you can use now. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And it's true. You go back to any belief that you have and you look at it from a different angle with different resources and you have unconditional love, confidence, clarity, certainty, and your beliefs all of a sudden take on an entirely new meaning. And it starts with the language that you apply to them. Is it the end or is it the beginning? Is God punishing me or is God giving me the opportunity of a lifetime? It's language. And these beliefs that we have, because they're below the surface, we take them as facts of life. And they're not. They're just beliefs. That was the second thing I did at the highest level. It's what you see in this company with your CEO and Branson himself with this vision. Its belief is that you can accomplish anything. It's the fundamental belief behind Virgin. To go into markets no one else goes into, to create value where other people don't see it. That's what Virgin's all about. And it's interesting, you see that some of the commercials are really cool, right? I like the last one with all the stewardesses. You see the commercial with the Australia? It's great, okay? And you see all this great stuff, and then I went on the plane, it's, it's amazing. And it's like that, it's beautiful and it's great. And that experience, that vision, is what drives any company, any individual forward in life. 